Greetings and salutations. This is Frederick John here. I wanted to make a quick video on search forms in Rails using MongoDB. There is a ton of examples online for how to make a search form using Rails, and most of them, nearly all of them, are using SQL statements, which will work for a relational database if you're using MySQL or Postgres. We like to use MongoDB as our database, so those SQL statements do not work. You cannot issue SQL statements to a NoSQL database. So let's take a look at how we would go about creating a search form. So I have a Rails application here that I'm working from. You can see that I have posts and that I have a table here with a, a list of posts. It gives the title, body, the user who created the post. It says when it was posted, how long ago, and then it has some actions that you could read more or you can destroy. And now I'm getting a lot of functionality uh, out of the box with the semantic UI framework. That's what I've used to create the table. And as you can see, if I want to change the order of the posted date, if I wanted to alphabetize, um, I mean, if I wanted to list alphabetically the posts, I could do that. So it has a sortable function. If, um, if the body or the title is very long, it will just use an ellipsis, and then I could click read more to see the rest of it. Uh, it's a cell to table, and all of this comes right out of the box with the semantic UI. Uh, by using the single line tables, uh, any content that does not fit will receive the ellipsis, as you could see here. Um, the description here is too long, so it, it keeps it organized in the same space so that it doesn't wrap to a second line. And this makes it look nice uh, if you're displaying data, a lot of data in a single table. And all of that comes with semantic. Same thing with the sorting function. Um, I'm not doing anything with Rails there. I'm just using the sortable table within the semantic UI. They tell you right here to just add this little bit of JavaScript and then you call table sort when the DOM is ready and that will give you a, a table that is sortable. As you can see here in the code, what I have table, class, UI, fixed, single line, sortable, cell table. So all I did was simply combined all of the features of the different variations that I wanted into one uh, class here for the table. And I'm getting all of that functionality from semantics. So right out of the gate you start with a lot of really nice features that might be a little bit more complicated to add but by using the framework it enables you to throw those features in there and gives you a nice table now what we're looking at is the search field the search bar so if I wanted to look through a post you could see here I have the post total there's 10 right here but let's say we had 500 and we wanted to find something specific well we don't want to have to scroll through all of them that's what the search bar is for so there's several different fields here that we could be searching for maybe we wanted to search a particular title or a particular uh, something that's in the body of the article um, or maybe a, a post by a particular user so there's several different things we have to think about when we're creating this form so let's say we're going to search for the term data. And once I click search, it's going to search through the collection of posts and it's going to return to me. You can see here now the total has changed to three. It's got three different posts that it's selected. You can see in the URL, it's changed to search equals data, showing that that was our search term. And this one has, the first one has a title of data the second one though does not have a title of data it has data in the body so as you can see the way that I've set it up is it doesn't matter if it's in the title or the body if it has the word data is going to be selected in that search okay so if I just search blank then all of the post will come back and list so you can see here with no search it just has the post listed now let's say I searched data all in caps it might be something that's case sensitive maybe a title has a capital letter to start with or uh, the body of the post has a capital letter so is that going to make a difference in the search results if you type 
all caps data, the same thing, it's going to return back. So what it's looking for is just this string data, whether it's lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't matter, and it's going to return all of the posts that have that search. If I wanted to search something like um, happy, it's going to return the one post that I'm looking for right here and then I could click read more and I have access to that post so how do we make this search bar work with our MongoDB database that's what we're gonna look at now so let's take a look at the search bar itself in the index page which is where it's located posts all posts okay so the search bar is right on the posts controller index action so if we go to that page you could see here is the search bar I'm using um, UI secondary menu which just means that I wanted it to be located right below this menu on the top and I'm making it a right menu so it's at the right of the page now this is pretty standard we have a form tag posts path and uh, it's a get method that's pretty standard um, now I'm using a UI action left icon input. What that's doing is it's creating an input field and allowing me to put an icon to the left of that field. And what's the icon going to be? It's going to be a search icon. This is semantic UI here. And we have a text field which we're giving a name of search. We're using the symbol search. Params again symbol search with a placeholder the string search dot 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 and you can see that here so we have our icon we have search dot 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 and that's a placeholder and then a button tag named search I'm sorry a button tag the word search a button tag uh, labeled I should say search the name is nil this has to do with uh, what is returned in the URL class of UI teal button and data disable with and we're putting in some HTML here the font icon the spinning icon and then the word searching so when you click on the search button it's going to disable the button it's going to put that spinning icon and it's going to turn from search to searching so if we search for something like first you could see the icon the searching it waits two seconds and then it returns the results to us okay so coming back here then we have our closing div and end tag we're using end because we have a do here so this UI secondary menu is the search bar now this is its database agnostic so there's nothing that you know special about this search bar that has to do with MongoDB this is a standard search bar in rails with the addition of this data disable attribute which we put the spinning icon and searching now in the post controller the SQL statements like I said they will not work for MongoDB so you see something like this is a standard search it will do something like uh, a method self search where the name is like question mark and then they have the interpolated ter search term in there but this like that's SQL so that is the statement that's not going to work uh, something that's a little a little better but still SQL is when you have a list of all the posts so you could say if there is this search parameter then then I want you to show all the posts that are going to be satisfying that search parameter or if there is not then just list all the posts but again it's still the same thing with the SQL so they will not work okay so this is what I did I have if the params search is blank well then we're just going to make at posts post dot all and then I have the pagination here or else then we're going to make post and then I have a search method and then param search and then again paginate so what I did was I removed the 
search logic from the controller and put that into the model you want to do fat model skinny controller and then what I would do next is I would remove the pagination from the controller put that into the model as well uh, that's for a different video so for right now I want to go to the model and and look at what we have there this is our post model it's a mongoid document we have two fields body and title both of them are given as symbols of type string and then we have a reference to the association belongs to user and then a validation for the title to be between the length of 2 and 25 characters and now here is our search method now this gets called in the controller by itself rails does not know what search is so when we call post.search it would be method undefined if we did not define it in our model but we are defining it in our model self.search self is referring to the op the post object if search any of and this is the part that is specific to mongodb so we're going to be passing in here both fields title and body and our interpolated string here for the search now what this is doing is saying if the interpolated string here for example before we use data matches the title or if it is matching the body then that is going to be given as a result in our post search because it's going to be matching that criteria so these are strings either the title or the body that matches this interpolated search will return true and will match that post we're calling this search method on params the symbol search now remember this symbol search is from our view where we have text field and then the symbol search now this is where the user is going to type in something for example data and this is going to go to our post controller where we're going to be calling this search method on it the search method is in our model and here we're going to be looking in our collection in our post collection for any title or body that is matching whatever the user typed in which is this right here whatever the user typed in for the body or the title that's going to be returned and that's how we're going to use the search for our mongoid collection now there is one other thing that we have to keep in mind I took this comment here this is straight from uh, the mongoid uh, error and it says when calling post find it needs to be in the database or an error will be raised okay so essentially when you're looking for a document that is not in the database you want it nil to be returned you don't want it to raise an error if I'm searching for something like Spongebob Spongebob is nowhere to be found it's gonna error out I don't want that to happen I want it to show that there is no matching post with the term Spongebob so for this to work you need to set this in the configuration file and then if you remember when you're using MongoDB you're gonna be using Mongoid and for Mongoid it's just a simple gem installation you could use put this in your gem file gem mongoid the current version now is 6.1.0 and then you bundle install and run the command rails g mongoid config what that creates is the mongoid yml for the configuration now the default configurations here are given and it gives you all of the comments for a bunch of different options that you can set now one of these options are you can see here one of the options is for the raise an error when performing a find in the document is not found we're gonna set that to false by default it's set to true so once we set that to false then everything will work properly we can call a search and if there is no document in that search then it will return nil rather than erroring out so right now we have our post controller sleep to is so that when you click on search it will 
show the spinning icon and show searching for two seconds and then it will bring back the search just to show you that it's doing something or performing some task and eventually like I mentioned what you'd want to do is you would want to pull the pagination into the model uh, to reduce the size of the controller as much as possible so what we have here is we're calling search which is in our model and this is the search that it's doing and this is the part that is specific to MongoDB and now like you saw we can have our standard search form in our code a user can go to our search and they can type in something they could search for it and they're going to get the correct results so that's how you correctly set up a search field when using Mongo DB as your database and Mongoid as the driver. It's relatively simple. One of the big benefits of Mongoid is it allows you a lot of the same functionality that you get with Active Record. Active Record is a huge benefit for Rails. It's a huge part of Rails. You don't want to just skip Active Record and lose all of that built in functionality. Now we are doing that when we choose to use MongoDB. When we start a new application, we do Rails new skip active record. But Mongoid actually has a lot of those built-in functionalities of active record. The only difference is you cannot use an SQL statement when you're searching your collection. So by just changing it a little bit in our post model, we're able to have the same type of functionality for users to search and and return stuff that's in the database and be able to find that and this is on the client side okay so hopefully you found this video helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment um, like the video if you found it helpful subscribe to the channel I'll be coming out with more videos hey who's that handsome guy <laughs>